Hi, uh, my name is Guy. We are at uh, Mushav Sde Moshe in the south of Israel. Our farm name is the Saf Brothers. Uh, it's established by my grandfather in uh, 50, 56. We grow pomegranates, grapes, peaches and nectarines. So this is the start of the sorting process. Uh, from, the from the harvest, the fruits come here in a big uh, boxes. Each box contains 400 kilos of product. We put it inside the water with uh, something like close to escalator. Takes the fruit out. It goes uh, through water, brushes, then a dryer. Then it goes inside the warehouse and goes over each fruit falls into a, a plate that works over a, a weight plate then uh, in the computer we, we choose the program that uh, divide the fruits by its uh, weight and then the, the worker just pack it inside uh, and this is how uh, each fruit uh, matches the, the size it's supposed to do. He told me a, a, a difficult story that happened this year with, with peppers. And we just go to the market, hey, there's peppers, they're on sale. But let's see what's happening behind, uh, behind the scene. 25 dunam, what's that, about uh, five, seven acres of, uh, of land peppers. of peppers. ואנחנו מגדלים כבר 15 שנה. 15 years we're growing those peppers. בשנתיים האחרונות, העלות ייצור של קילוגרם פלפל זה 3 שקל ו-30. The last two years, the price has gone up to produce the peppers to 3 שקל 30 per kilo. That's so what that cost is. That's, that's the cost, the cost to produce, 3.30 per kilo. ואנחנו מגדלים 500 טון. 500 טון is what they produce. ומכרו את זה ב-2.80. And they sold it for 2.80, which means... הפסדתי 50 אגורות. Half a shekel they lost on every kilo. כמה טונות? 500 טון. 500 טון. And they're losing half a shekel on every kilo. בגלל זה אין לי כוח והפסקתי, החממות עומדות ריק. And therefore I stopped producing these. השנה הראשונה שאני לא מגדל. This year he just stopped with peppers. He's lost כמה? A lot. 250,000 שקל הפסדתי כל שנה, בשנתיים. 250,000 שקל per year lost in the last two years. Half a million שקל just on peppers. When we call them, Dani and called his brother uh, Rachamim and we gave them Baruch Hashem assistance from, from you, from the good people of Zohar Tzainu. Echel gashta kasher ha'ach shecha mar sheyish anashim shetormimim v'rotim la'azor. Echel gashta. Ze kemo nes mishpili. It's a miracle. Ze kesem. Magic. It's magic. It's magic. Ma'a ze ze? Ki ene po ba'aretz anashim ka'ile ne'elamim. Here the people are disappearing in terms of... The ones that are left, are, are, each one is eating the other in terms of uh, the, the producer. It's, it's, just, it's, just, it's the fight for survival. A little bit now of the history of this place that was founded by their father, who's still alive and well. We're going to be meeting him here soon. And here's a picture of the father with his donkey when he started. But here's a son, Rachamim, who's going to tell us more. Be free, be free. His father came in 1952, 56. Uh, 56, 1956, the father came. Ben Gurion had a campaign to move people from the city to the, to the farms, and therefore he moved from Yerushalayim here. Abba Shi Goe Ben Gurion Bizmano, Waya Shomer Shel Yitzhak Ben Zvi. Shomer Rosh? Shomer, ken, ba Mishkan Shelo. Aha, his father was one of the bodyguards of Yitzhak Ben Svi, who was a Nasi. Nasi Medinat Yisrael. Nasi Medinat Yisrael. Nasi Medinat Yisrael, the president of Israel, he was his father who was the bodyguard. So he's a tough guy. And Ben Gurion convinced him, come out here. No, Ben Gurion convinced him to come out here and start a farm. This is how he started. This was the there was no tractor, there was nothing, there was no bathroom, there was no electricity. There was there was water, there was water. 
ראינו את זה. ואנחנו המשכנו. זה מה שהוא לימד אותנו. Is their grandson? Now, now we're going to see the father. We're going to see the father. Oh, by the way, when he told us off camera, worth repeating, the father was a, was a soldier in the Turkish army. He ran away, escaped, and he was caught in Syria, the Syria. And he sat in, he sat in jail in Syria six months. Then he went back to Turkey, Khazan of Turkey. And he was put in jail in a Turkish jail. And then he, who barak, he, he, he ran, oh, he escaped again from Turkey with a forged passport. So we're here now with the father, the Saba, the one who founded. We just saw the picture of him and his Khamor Kodemkul. איפה החמור? אהההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה